Ever since we were children, we've had one dream. Winning the Eurovision Song Contest. While Americans at large may be unaware of it, the Eurovision Song Contest has served as a shining beacon of collective fun and self-deprecating pride in the UK ever since the annual music event began in 1956. So one could hardly approach Will Ferrell's latest comedic offering centered on an Icelandic musical duo's journey through the competition without some underlying feeling of skepticism. Indeed, Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, has been written, directed, and produced by a team of Americans whose country has had no vested interest in the singing event in its 64-year history. Fortunately, the Eurovision Song Contest has less in common with the last time Farrell dipped into British pop culture and more with the likes of Blades of Glory and Talladega Nights. The Netflix film follows Icelandic singers Lars Eriksson and Sigrid Eriksdottir, who grew up together in a remote fishing village dreaming of competing in the annual event. Several strokes of luck, or maybe elves, because Icelanders are big believers in elves, see their act Fire Saga selected to represent Iceland. And so, once again, a Will Ferrell film follows the exploits of an oddball couple navigating a niche competitive arena. The pair's Nordic impressions are pretty impressive, and Farrell still has that singular ability to catch you off guard with seemingly ad-libbed one-liners and you might think that I'm drunk than physical humor. <laughs> Even Lars's rotating wardrobe, sourced one assumes from Instagram OOTD hashtags, raises a smile, but these moments are far too rare and padded out with lackluster cliches and obvious jokes. McAdams offers earnest support as Secret, who is hoping to make sweet love as well as music with her singing partner, but whose affections have thus far gone unrequited. It's a shame she's never really given the chance to be as comical as Farrell, so her best moments are limited to when she's singing, but even the actress can't take full credit for that. Swedish singer and former junior Eurovision contestant Molly Sandin provided Secret's belter of a singing voice. It's heartening that Farrell, who co-wrote the script, has a clear affection for the competition. The film refuses to mock the song contest, instead it affectionately teases the idiosyncrasies that make Eurovision such a campy, poptastic affair while celebrating the vibrant musicality that is delivered annually by the 50-plus countries who compete. More ardent fans of Eurovision might find themselves pulling their hair out at a few of the film's nonsensical errors, like having non-Brits host the ceremony taking place in the UK, an odd thing to get wrong given how much effort went into making this movie authentic in other places. It is admirable that the film doesn't shy away from the recent Eurovision controversy involving Russia's homophobia, and clearly the film champions the competition's campaign for inclusivity by delivering several LGBTQI cameos. But that message is somewhat dampened by the fact that nearly Every speaking character is white, while people of color serve primarily as window dressing. Okay, so not as bad as we expected. Adding it all up, Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, is a film of inconsistencies. It doesn't quite capture the magic of Will Ferrell's early buddy comedies, but still delivers enough heart and merriment to earn at least six points from the viewing public. Will Ferrell's tribute to the iconic singing competition is sincere and heartwarming, and while the comedy notes fall a little flat in places, there's enough mirth to make up for it, with some absolute bops to sing along to. For more reviews, check out what we thought of Artemis Fowl and The Lovebirds. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.